The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Seoul, South Korea, weighing in at 169 pounds, Nick O. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, and this is one of those times. They've been buzzing about this one ever since this match was announced. Hello from my name is Elon. Welcome to the league match between Minho and Luis Alvarado. And this is for the Ignition World Championship. And uh, the winner of this match will be the first ever champion of that belt. So, you know, a lot on the line. And everyone by now, if you've been watching uh, the other videos in the Ignition League that have been posted and will know, that uh, Minho and Luis Alvarado have been having an off again, off again rivalry. And yes, I did say that right. Because these two are just not getting along very well. And um, yeah, ever since the league began, things have been going uh, a bit sour between these two men. And uh, yeah, Minho so far has been on the, the, the bad end of pretty much everything that's been going on so far. Um, they started off with a singing competition of course Minho the K-pop star that he is went out there had a bit of a sore throat though and he, uh, he ended up uh, miming his performance which didn't go down too well and it ended as a draw because Luis Alvarado decided not to turn up for the competition so Minho was a bit robbed there second time um, ballroom competition dance off and uh, Minho didn't have a partner because his uh, his girlfriend Wendy decided uh, she had too much w stage fright to go out there at the time. So Minho went out alone. He ended up losing to Luis Alvarado because Luis went out there with a janitor. And they bumped heads and somehow they still ended up getting the win because Minho broke the rules by not having a partner. So that's uh, unfortunate for him but he lost again to uh, Luis Alvarado that way. And even when they haven't been having matches together or anything, I mean, they had the, uh, the tag match right at the very start of the league, which they ended up losing because they just couldn't tag together. Um, Minu interrupted one of Luis Alvarado's matches a couple of weeks ago and got him disqualified. Uh, these two are just being at each other's throats, messing up with each other and just not getting along, pretty much just not getting along. So finally... These two are fighting each other in one-on-one -on -one competition and the belt just so happens to be on the line and it also just happens to be the first pay-per-view of the League Winter Wonderland. 
So that's this is quite the special occasion, you know. Things are coming together. It's been uh, a couple of weeks, you know. It's been like five, six weeks, and they're finally, finally uh, facing off against each other. So it's a big occasion, very big occasion, because of course, Luis Alvarado has been a champion before in the past, uh, last year. And Minho is new to the company. He's uh, new to the scene, new to wrestling generally, and um, it would be great for him to uh, get his first wrestling belt so early on in his career. But I guess we'll see if that happens in this matchup. But right now, you know, uh, Minho's doing okay. He's holding his own against the former champion. He's getting some shots in. He's doing okay. He's doing pretty well. He's doing pretty well, you know. Um, Luis Alvarado on the floor right now. Minho's had the offense for a while now. And he's doing something here to his arm. His other arm is trapped under his back. Stamping on it. Down it goes. Just a stomp onto the arm. That's going to hurt. It is going to hurt. Misses with the kick though. And Luis Alvarado going to take advantage. Slam him in or down onto the mat. And um, of course, you know, as confident as Minho might be feeling going into this one. You've got to wonder, is Luis Alvarado taking Minho lightly? Um, because, you know... Lewis has seen his matches, of course, you know. He might be going in there a bit annoyed at everything that Minnow's been doing to him. Um, but, of course, Lewis is a former champion. So, will, uh, will he take it, add into consideration that Minho is still pretty new? Um, and that Lewis has done this all before? Is he going to take him lightly? We'll see. But right now, Lewis on the second rope. What's he going for here? Jumps off and misses hard. Minho managing to move out of the way of that one. Boom! Face! First into his boot, and Lewis is down. Minho's still holding his own, holding his own. I can't even talk, and he just gets face busted. Never mind, never mind. Uh, just like that, <laughs> fully back in Lewis's uh, Lewis's playhouse. That's not the word I want to use, but it's the word I'm going to use. Back in Lewis's playhouse right now. As he's uh, walking into the corner, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Maybe trying to play a bit of possum. Maybe trying to get onto the second rope. Who knows? But Minto's going to walk over there. He's looking at him, and Lewis is uh, just doing stuff. Don't know what he's trying to do, but Minto's going to take advantage. No idea what was going on there when I was playing the match. I had no idea what was going on. I thought he had um, lagged out, you know, like it had split us, but apparently not. That just it glitched or something. I don't know. But as you've seen right there, Minto's head. Bouncing off the bottom rope, that's going to do some damage. Will he be able to continue? Who knows? But Lewis spinning around, head scissors, takedown. What a move! Athletic move. Both of these men in this matchup would be classed as cruiserweights, I guess. Uh, both smaller men and both battling for the the world championship. It's good to see, you know, little guys getting the, the big shots. You know, it's good to see. It's great to see. And there's a super kick to the face, and um, you can see right now that Mino is having to recuperate. He's getting a bit hurt now, getting a bit damaged, and Lewis is telling him, just leave, just leave, this title's already mine. Mino misses with a kick somehow. Don't know how I managed to miss with that kick, he literally kicked him in the face and it didn't connect. And Lewis manages to hit with another head scissors takedown. Mino rolling, trying to roll out of the way. Is it a big enough roll? Yes it is. Misses with the elbow drop. There's a kick to the back. And um, this could still go either way. Lewis um, has had the, the upper hand so far. Minho now head first into the mat. What a move. What a move. A great move by Minho. He just needs to carry on. He needs to follow it up. He needs to get in multiple moves. You know, you can't just hit one and then, you know, Lewis gets in like three because that's just not going to work. He needs to stay on the attack and uh, keep him down for the three count as Lewis takes his time getting back inside the ring he's torn it up now tell him he's the strong man in this match Minnow getting uh, a bit annoyed by that taking Lewis down and he's gonna jump after him my god the athleticism by Minnow on display taking Lewis down with the, the what was that a shooting star press up the top of the ropes to the outside of the ring Jesus Christ, Mino. Jesus Christ. Calm it. Calm it down. This is a big match. We all know this. As he slams his knee into the back of his head again. Torn to the fans. He says he's got this. He knows this is his match for the take. And as he, you know, I haven't even mentioned this yet, but that special entrance and special attire for this matchup. 
He's feeling confident, you know. He's dancing. He's having a good time. He's feeling it. You know, I mean, he, he usually wears his just usual silver silver attire this time. He's went all out. He's wearing red and gold. He's looking good. You know, he came out special. Edwin special. Edwin's video. Everything's looking good for Mino. And um, he's feeling it. Maybe a bit overconfident. Who knows? I mean, money was falling from the sky. Misses with the running kick there. Going for a poke to the eyes, which is dodged. Lewis now. Face Buster again. Minnow's down. Minnow back down on the mat again. Lewis is feeling it now. The crowd also feeling it with the yes. Chani runs at him. Running knee to the face. Will that be enough? Into the pin now. One. Two. And the ref hit the mat. You heard the mat get hit. But apparently it wasn't quite enough. The fans booing. Did the ref make a bad call there? Maybe so. But Mino kicking out and is continuing on in this matchup. Fans were not happy with that kick out though. The ref maybe foul play. Who knows. But the, the match continues as Lewis stomping his knees into the, the back of the head into the chest of Mino. Just those knees going to town. As he goes on the second rope now. Going for the knee again. And that time he missed. That time he missed. There's an elbow to the back. Going for a kick which misses. Trying to grab him again, does not do so, and gets taken down. And again, going back to that fact that Luis Alvarado is a veteran of the ring, whereas Mino is still a bit of a rookie. And, uh, you know, he's missing these moves, and if he was hitting these moves, then this match could be very different right now. But it isn't. It isn't very different. It's, uh, you know, even though Luis has had the other hand for the majority of the match, Mino has been holding his own, maybe not so much recently. But he has been holding his own, especially in the early goings of this matchup. Maybe he just isn't used to these longer matches, who knows. But Lewis has had him all over right now. Running into the corner, there's a kick to the face though. Kick reversal. What's he doing here? Spin him around. Big club and blow, axe handle of the face. And Lewis Alvarado doing a bit of a dance now. Interesting stuff. As Minnow slowly getting back up to his feet. And he gets slapped in the face. The disrespect on show. The disrespect on show. Minho can't believe it. Look at him. He's staring him down from the outside of the ring. The ref trying to hold Lewis back though. He doesn't want him outside the ring. Minho missing with a kick. There we go again. There we go again. And Lewis takes advantage. Ah, the amateurness of Minho. He's getting too cocky. He's getting too excited. He's trying to rush things. And it's going to backfire. There's a reversal. Kick, the drop kick to the midsection does connect though, which is always a good thing. But uh, Lewis, again, quick to reverse and get back up to his feet. It's like everything that Minho tries to throw at him, Lewis has a counter, he has a reversal. And that elbow to the face just has him rocked there. Down he goes. And uh, going up to the top rope again, trying for something big. What's he doing here? He's telling Minho to get up, and Minho is doing so. Slowly making his way back to his feet. Rolling elk. Nope, not an elbow. An arm drag. Again, the athleticism on display by Luis Alvarado. Both these men. Like I said earlier, the cruiserweight type. You know, they're both athletic, both quick off their feet. It's interesting to see these two styles uh, go against each other. There's Minho with a Hurricanrana. Good stuff. And now this time, he's going up top. Maybe trying for something big. Moonsault, which misses badly. And there's a running knee. The running knee connects again for the second time in this match. Will that be enough? One. Two. And Minho powering out a two. That time, no question about it. He got his shoulder rubber two. And uh, the resiliency on display by Minho now. He's found his feet. Well, I say he's found his feet. He's been still getting assaulted left, right, and center. But he's found his feet. But oh my god, Luis Alvarado, how dare he hitting Minho with his own finishing move. The trouble in paradise going in for the cover straight away. One, two, and again Minho kicking out at two. Luis can't believe it. He can't believe it. What does he have to do? He's hitting with two running knees. He's hitting with his own finishing move. And he's still continuing on. Luis now still dancing and he gets taken down by Minnow, finally finding his way in this matchup, he's getting fired up, he's going to the top rope, why is he going to the top rope, Lewis on the apron, and he clotheslines him off the apron, 
Oh my god! Menno, what is he doing? Another Shinstar press to the outside of the ring for the second time. My god, Lewis is getting hurt. He's getting hurt. I mean, Minnow's definitely more injured in this matchup, but Lewis has hurt himself. And there's a knee to the face, though. There's a knee to the face again. Just like before, you know, Minnow gets a bit of offense, and then Lewis Alvarado gets his own in pretty quickly after, as um, he's going after that arm of Minnow now. Stomp to the left arm there, and uh, that's going to hurt a lot. As Minho did that to him earlier on in the match, but there's an uppercut from the Korean sen sensation, trying to follow it up, and chin into the top of the dome. It's gonna hurt the chin. It's gonna hurt the jaw of Luis Alvarado. Trouble in paradise out of nowhere. Is this it? Is this the big moment? Will that be enough? Minho dragging him away from the ropes. He doesn't want a rope break. Rolling him over. One, two. And Luis Alvarado kicking out at two. Oh my god. That trouble in paradise out of nowhere. That could have been it. That could have been enough to put him away. Minnow can't believe it. He can't believe it. Just when he thought he had him rocked. Just wasn't enough. Maybe he took a little bit too long dragging him away from the ropes. And, uh, you know, having to roll him over. That dead weight, you know. He might have been knocked out there for a couple of seconds. Minnow tell him to get up and he just isn't doing so. So instead he's going to put his boot right in, the, right in his face and just taunt it up. He's feeling it for these, this past minute or so. He's been all over Luis Alvarado. Drop kick though is missed. But the stomp also missed. But the clothesline it did not. And down goes Minnow again. Luis Alvarado back on the attack. No, there's the reversal. He's got to follow it up. He's got to keep up the offense. There's the arm drag reversal. Super kick missed. And Lewis going outside the ring. Minnow's not going to let it, that go though. And jumps straight after him, taking him out. He wants this match to stay inside the ring. Throwing Alvarado straight back inside the ring. Getting back in the ring himself. And he's going up to the top rope now. Lewis on his back. Rolling over, oh my god, the 6.30 right halfway across the ring, it connects, my god, Minho, he's feeling it, he sees it coming, the kick connects, Luis Alvarado is rocked, he's being hurt badly now, Minho knows this, he's going up to the top rope again, maybe going for another 6.30 splash, what's he doing here, what is he doing here, he's telling, he's telling Luis to get up, Lewis slowly getting back up to his feet. Minnow now. He's gonna jump. <gasps> and he gets caught. Power bomb by Lewis Alvarado. The strength. The small man with a lot of strength. Managing to catch Minnow in mid air and connecting with a power bomb. My god. And Lewis going after that leg. He's going after the knee. You know that Troll in Paradise finisher of Minnow's. He's gonna try and get rid of the leg. Smart idea. Very smart idea by Lewis Alvarado. There's Minnow getting back up to his feet now. There's the reversal. Fireman's carry. Minnow now. Drop kick miss. Well, it connected, but did no damage. There's an uppercut. Trouble in paradise. No, a drop kick to the leg. Trouble in paradise by Luis Alvarado. Out of nowhere. How did Minnow's miss? Who knows? Into the pin. One, two, and three. Luis Alvarado is the ignition world champion.